welcome back to my channel thank you guys for stopping in and watching this video with me we're going to be real fast i'm going to jump right into it i'm just going to talk about my top six favorite foundations today three high end and three low end and i'm going to tell you why i like them and the reason why i use them so if you are new to my channel hi and thank you for coming by and checking us out. I hope that you hit the subscribe button below as well as give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so that you can be notified of any videos that I upload next. If you are a returning um, member of the family, I want to thank you for coming back and watching my videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoy all the videos. Uh, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up as well, as well as leave a comment below and let me know um, how I'm doing. So my first foundation that I want to bring to you guys is a oldie but goodie for me. I have been wearing it ever since it came out. I have purchased this foundation on multiple occasions. I wear it almost every day when I'm going to work. And it is the Maybelline Fit Me. And I do get the matte and poreless version. Uh, they do have another version, which is the dewy version. But I am a combination skin complexion, which means that I am oily and um, dry in certain spots. But I like this one um, because I'm more oily than I am dry. And for the Maybelline Fit Me, I am a 355. I love this foundation because it's a creamy um, consistency and it goes on so smooth and silky. Even though it says that it's a matte foundation, it does get matte once it dry. But when you put it on, it's not one of those foundations that dry real fast. That means that you have to work fast to put it on. So I really love this because it gives you enough time to apply it and get it the way that you want before the foundation dries down. So this is one of my um, top three drugstores and this is will be number one. So the next one that I really love is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Now this right here, I am growing to love. This foundation came out this fall, um, the beginning of fall, yeah. And this is my first um, bottle of it, but I wear it just as much as I wear the Maybelline. This is um really getting up there to be one of the number one drugstore ones. Um, I actually have it on today. It goes on so flawless. It really looks skin-like. So if you want that foundation that um you don't have to build on, this is a medium to full coverage, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check. But to me, I feel like it's a medium to full coverage. Yes, this is a medium to full coverage foundation and one pump goes a long way. So you can build it up, but I feel like one pump goes a long way. If you want that foundation where it looks skin like and it don't look like you have like a cake face or you have a lot of foundation on, then this is the foundation for you. It's a very reasonable price. You can find it at all your local drugstores you can also you can also get it from Ulta and that's where I got mine from from Ulta and this foundation I am the color Sienna which um is a 17.5 and this is Sienna and that's the color that I am in this for my last 
Drugstore Foundation. I will have to choose the CoverGirl True Blend. The CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. This foundation is so smooth. Now I do not I have not worn this one as much as I wore the NYX, but I have wore it a couple of times and I like it. Now I am going to do um next week why I'm at work going to work. I'm going to wear this foundation um all week next week. Just I'm going to wear this all week next week so I can get a full feel for so I can get a full feel for how this foundation is. Now, I've worn this foundation about two times. And like I said, I do like it. And it is something that I can see myself purchasing over again. This foundation also states that it is transfer resistance. Um, that's what I want to check this out for. Now, with this being transfer resistance... I think that I'm going to have to wear this without a setting powder. And um, that's what I'm going to try to do this week, which will be different for me because I always set my foundation. But I'm going to try this this week and see how it works without a setting powder and see if it's truly transfer resistant. Because if this is a drugstore foundation that's transfer resistant, then this may become number one in my um, that I grab for. So... And as you can see with this, I am a D60. And I'll list all of these shades below. But stay tuned. And I'll come back and tell you how I really like this foundation. For my three high-end foundations, I'm going to start out with my top number one. I purchased this foundation so much. This foundation, I can wear every day. And that is the Clinique Foundation. This is the Beyond Perfection Foundation. Um, and it says that it's a foundation and concealer mix. That may be the secret to this foundation. I love this foundation so much. It feels so good on your face. It's very lightweight, even though it says that it's a foundation and a concealer. This is a full coverage foundation. It covers up any marks. When I wear this, I don't even have to do a um, color correct with this foundation. I have two of these in my backup. That's how much I wear this um, foundation. I really, really love it. It's like one of my top all-time favorite foundations. It, it's just it's just so perfect. And with this, I am the color 26 Amber. You can't go wrong if you're looking for and this foundation even though it is a high-end brand it is on the um to me the cheaper side of a high-end foundation um and i'll list all the prices on how much these foundations cost below in the description i purchased this foundation from sephora and like i said i got two in my bag up because yeah i wear this like that this is my all time when i'm going out of town this is the one i take unless i know that i'm going to like um a special type of event when i have events for my company i use this because it lasts me all day um again like i said this is this is definitely my go-to high-end foundation my second foundation that's high-end that i have been loving for the year of 2018 is the Fenty Beauty. This foundation is another um, medium to full coverage. I like it. If you're looking for that skin-like foundation in a high-end version, this one is really good. Um, it lasts all day. I really, really like this foundation as well. It is a lightweight foundation, so it does not feel heavy on your face. And it gets the job done. Um, yeah. And let's see. What is my... What is my... Um, 
And this foundation, I am a 440. And I like it. Last and but not least is the new Too Faced Born This Way. Man, what can I say about this foundation? This foundation is so silky. So silky. This is a full face, full coverage foundation. This foundation, like the other ones, does have a silky texture. And I like foundations with a silky texture. I feel like it goes on a little bit smoother versus um, those foundations that dry down really fast and you have to work fast to put them on. Um, they, uh, I don't know. Like I used to wear the Becca foundation and that foundation does give you a flawless look, but it dries so fast that you have to move. You only can apply a little bit at a time and you have to hurry up and um, get it on your face before it dries out. This foundation gives you a flawless texture as well, but it you can you can take your time and, and put your foundation on at your pace. And I like that. It's really creamy. It's smooth on the skin. It does not dry down matte that is making your face feel like it's tight. Or that you feel like you caked up. But it is a full coverage foundation. So I really like this. Um, and again, those are my top three high-end foundations. And my top three um, drugstore brand foundations. And with this one, I kind of use this for when I'm going to those special occasions, when it's my birthday or my husband's birthday, my um, anniversary, I have a banquet coming up next week, I will wear this. So when I have those special occasions, then I in, I want my makeup to be a little more um, glam, then I'll usually grab for this and wear this. But um, I really like this foundation. It's re really, really good. Um, and again, to just go over them again. Oh, also with the Born This Way, I am the color Chai. And I'll go over them all with you guys again for my low end. I have the Maybelline Fit Me, I have the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and I have the um cover girl. Now and I do I'm not going to say that these are the only three drugstore foundations that I use because I do use other drugstore foundation. I do love the Black Radiance foundation. Um and that is one of my faves as well, but over the last couple of months, these are the three that I have been um gravitating to and have been pulling out and using the most and i just wanted to bring to you guys the foundations that i have been using the most this year and these um as far as my drugstore foundation have been my go-to ones recently and again for my high end i have the clinique fenty and the Too Faced foundation um, have been the ones. These are on my vanity as of right now. I use these a lot within the last two to three months. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the foundations, um, if you would like to see me use a tutorial on how I put these foundations on, please leave a comment below. If you have any of these foundations, please tell me your experience, how you like them, um, how long you've been wearing them. And if you have anything that you want to recommend for me to purchase and try out for you guys, leave it below and I will do that for you. Um, 
again thank you for watching this video i hope everybody had a great day and enjoy the rest of your week talk to you soon bye